Hi, and welcome to the Polaroid Stop Motion After Effects Template Customization Tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import your videos or your photos and uh, put them into the template. So let's get started by going to our project panel and take a look at some of these folders. Uh, we have our elements folder, which has all of our pre-comps uh, and all of the source files needed to work with this template. We have our render comp. We have the replace images folder, replace text, and we have our scenes folder. And uh, this is where we're going to uh, open up scene number one, scene precomp 01, just double click on that. I wanna show you really quickly um, these controls that we have and each scene precomp has these same controls. You can go to our effects controls panel. If you don't already have that open, you can go to window and then effects and presets. Make sure that you can see that. So if we take a look in our controls panel, uh, the first thing we have is a turn on or off frame text. And you can uh, check that box to see uh, which photo frame you're looking at. Each scene pre-comp has these frame controls where you can control the position and the scale for the image inside the Polaroid frame. Um, and so to know which one you're, you're working with, uh, you might need to have these labels turned on. And all of these controls are labeled, uh, so you can change the position and the scale for each frame, so you can get a different look or focus in on a different part of a video, depending on what kind of video you end up using uh, in this scene. So let's go back to our render comp, and our first layer is labeled frame and background controls. If you go to your effects controls panel, you'll see some global controls, um, and these control the background, uh, the background color. Uh, you can also turn these Polaroid frames off and you can turn on these white square frames. Uh, just depends on what kind of look you want to go for. Or you can keep the Polaroid frames. Uh, there's a frame thickness slider and that is for the square frame. So if you turn that back on, if you want to make that bigger or smaller, we'll turn our Polaroid frames back on. Uh, we have a textured background, or you can turn that off and just have a solid background. Uh, we also have a wood textured background. Uh, we don't show this in the preview, but it's there just as a bonus if you want to uh, utilize that. So we're going to keep our textured background. And of course, you can change the background color uh, to whatever you like using the color picker. So let's go back to our project panel and get started with customizing the template. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we can change our intro. So if we go to the replace text here folder, twirl that down and go to the replace intro Polaroid frame text. And this is the text um, on the frame here. So if you double click this, and you can edit this text layer by double clicking it here in our timeline. And then you can move that around in here. And you can change your font and your uh, text color in the character panel. If we go back to our render comp, you'll see our text is customized. And if we click to open the replace main title text composition, this is where we can type in our new title. And if you wanted to uh, put a different background in here, we have a paper textured background. Uh, you can do that here. We'd, the way to do that would be to go to file, import file. And then you would go and select your footage or your photo and then drag that file into your timeline. And we can scale that down. And if we go back to our render comp, you'll see our, our main title and you'll see our white text over. These are our labels. And again, we want to go into our pre-comp and you can just double click on that uh, layer in the timeline to open that up. Go to your control panel and uncheck that checkbox. Okay, let's go back to our intro. And this is our logo intro where we wanna replace our logo. So we'll go to our project panel, go to the replace images here folder, and go to the replace logo folder. Double click on the replace logo here composition to open that up. And this is where you would drag and drop in your logo or you can even change this text here. And that could be your intro. 
So let's go to our scene uh, pre-comp 01 composition. Double click to open that one up. Let's go to our effects controls and turn off the text. And then let's import a video so we can put it in this scene. So uh, first thing we need to do is go to the replace images here folder and double click on replace video 01. And you'll see we have a placeholder. It's just a dummy placeholder. You can uh, turn it off or delete it completely. And then again, we'll go to File, Import, File, and select our video, and then drag it into your timeline. You can hit S on your keyboard to scale that down, or you can right click on that layer, go to Transform, Fit to Comp With. And you'll want to edit your video in this comp. Um, so let's say we wanted it to start not there, but a little further down. We can uh, click on our video layer and just drag it over. Remember each scene is roughly five seconds long. If we go back to our scene pre-comp, you'll see our video has been updated. And let's say we want to uh, move the images inside these frames around. We want to change their positions and maybe change their uh, scale. So remember to click your uh, frame control layer Go to the effects controls panel and if you need to uh, you can turn on the frame text but we since we only have three frames in here um, you can probably figure out which one is which some of these scenes have five or six frames so that's why there's um, all these labels so we can just turn those off for now and then we're going to go to our right photo position point control if you scroll on this number here this is our x position if you go to the photo scale, you can scale that down. If we go to our left photo position, we can drag on these numbers, our X and Y values, and you can scale that up. So you can just play around with these controls to get the look you're going for. You can focus in on a certain part of a video or uh, cut it out completely. Um, it's whatever fits into these squares that you're going to be seeing. So um, there's a lot of flexibility with this template you can uh, create some interesting images that way. So if we go back to our render comp you can see all of our changes have been made and you would just repeat that process for each composition. And now the last thing we want to customize is our closing scene and in this scene it's uh, if you remember from the preview it's our logo inside the photo and then uh, you can type your text on the frame. Uh, you don't have to use the logo. You can actually use whatever you whatever you like. Um, let's double click to open the pre comp by double clicking in the timeline. And let's select our controls. Go to our control panel and let's turn that text off so we can see get a better idea of what we're doing here. And if you remember from our preview, we have different photos from the stack moving off screen, and these are all uh, pre comps from our different scenes uh, in the animation. So to change our closing, we can go back to our project panel, go to the replace images here folder, go to the closing scene folder, and double click to open the replace closing video or image. And as you can see, our logo pre-comp has been placed in here, and that's just in case you wanted to have your logo in there. You can turn that off, or you can uh, delete it. We have a paper texture. The paper texture has a blending mode applied to it. And it's a uh, multiply. So if you drag a file in here, say our video, you can see it has this uh, texture over it. You can also turn that off if you like. And again, you want to edit your video to start uh, by dragging this layer. Let's go to our scene, pre-comp closing scene and you'll see our video has been updated. And we can also use our frame controls to get that video where we want it. There we go. So you can um, use your logo or use a different video in there altogether. And to change our text, we'll go back to our project panel and go to the Replace Text Here folder and double click to open the Replace Closing Polaroid Text. You'll see our text layer here. 
you can uh, double click either in the timeline or in the comp viewer. And you want to make sure that text does fit inside this comp window. Go to our character panel to scale that down. So that's it for the customization tutorial. If you have any uh, questions or come across anything that uh, you're having trouble with, feel free to email me uh, marissa at flexvfx.com. I'd be more than happy to help.